This is Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Two of the best footballers of all time. But there's a problem. They're 18 again, and they're not that good at football anymore. But they have a plan. I'm going to randomize Messi and Ronaldo's career, starting with their club. So now Cristiano Ronaldo plays for Arsenal Football Club, and Messi's gone to Tottenham Hotspur. Ronaldo and Messi will be playing against each other in a North London derby this season. We're now at the end of season one. Ronaldo is 85 rated playing for Arsenal, but he has a North London derby to play. It's Tottenham Hotspur versus Arsenal. This is how the Spurs team are likely to line up. Messi up front with Son out on the wing and this is the Arsenal team who is going to take on the North London Derby glory. 2-0 to Arsenal. It's a Cristiano Ronaldo goal in the second half. No sign from Messi. He goes radio silent and Saka scores early on as well. The dominant display from the red side of North London but let's have a look at how they're doing in the Premier League table this season so far. They're top. 80 points and 3 losses all year. Tottenham Hotspur however down in 7th having a horrendous season. Let's finish this out and let's see if Arsenal can complete this Premier League title. They're also in the FA Cup final by the way as well. They could do a League and Cup double. Can they finish it out? A draw against Bournemouth, beat Manchester United to win the league and they don't. They should still be fine though. Are they fine? Yeah, two points clear on the final day. They must win and they do. Arsenal are Premier League champions. Counter on the screen. Ronaldo has one trophy. Messi has zero. Can Ronaldo make it two trophies already? Oh, 4-3. What a game. Diogo Jota scores the winner in extra time. Chris Cristiano Ronaldo does not get on the score sheet. It's an Odegaard brace. So, Cristiano Ronaldo, where are you? Here he is, 85 overall. Stats, 22 goals. Basically, the front three scored more or less the exact same goals all season. And Messi's the same as Ronaldo, 85 overall striker. What about his stats for the season? He gets 17 goals, so five less than Ronaldo. He does get more assists, though. I'd say relatively similar first seasons, but Ronaldo plays up front for the best team in the Premier League, so Ronaldo's probably having a better career. However, let me introduce you to a little friend of mine called The Wheel. The title of this video is I randomize Messi and Ronaldo's careers and this is kind of what I mean. Let me spin this wheel and show you. So uh, the next step they're going to take in their careers is making them both their current ratings as goalkeepers. Oh my god, I can't believe I got this one first. It's exactly what it sounds like. Lionel Messi is now a goalkeeper. Richarlison goes up front and Messi, GK, as you can see, 85 rated. And we've done the exact same thing for Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a 19-year-old goalkeeper goalkeeper for Arsenal. We get the pleasure, no, the privilege of leaving them as a goalkeeper for a year and seeing how many clean sheets they're going to get. Now, Lionel Messi is five foot seven, so I don't imagine he's going to keep many clean sheets, but look, you never know. He's also got five-star skills, so maybe he can run the pitch. Messi's a goalkeeper, 88 overall. He's getting better, 98 kicking. That doesn't surprise me. He's pretty good at kicking the ball. It's kind of a job and stuff. Okay, let's have a look. He's the best player on the team. Five goals. Oh my God. Five goals. He's scores. And he's kept 10 clean sheets. Well, 12. 10 in the Premier League. That's unbelievable. He's the fifth top scorer on the team and he's the goalkeeper. What a guy. No way. And how are Spurs doing? They're second in the league. Okay, they have the joint second best defense in the entire league. Arsenal are eighth. Ronaldo's had a nightmare. Ronaldo's an absolute stinker. Right, let's go and see how he's doing at Arsenal. And here's Ronaldo. 88 rated goalkeeper as well. He's growing at the same rate as Messi. One of the highest rated players on the team. No surprise. He's got five goals as well. He's literally copying Messi. Although he does have three less clean sheets. All right, boom. So Messi's been a better keeper, definitely. Arsenal did win the Community Shield. I guess that counts. Add that to the trophy tally. And they're also in the FA Cup final. Anything else? They're in the Champions League. Oh my God. I had literally no idea. Okay, Aston Villa seems decent. I feel like Ronaldo could maybe win that. I say he could win it. He's not going to win it. He's the goalkeeper. Come on, Ronaldo. 2-1 win. Conceded early to Ben Yedda, but clawed it back. Ronaldo's going to play in Nets in the Champions League final. This would technically be a treble if you include Include the community shields. Ah, they lost the final. No way. Ronaldo did score though. And here we go. Champions League final. Yes, they did it. It's a Jota brace. Ronaldo's won the Champions League already. What a game for him. But we got to spin the wheel again. The wheel of chaos. The wheel of uncertainty. The wheel of randomization. I, I, that's a bit of a reach, but we'll go with it. Here we go. We've made Messi and Ronaldo goalkeepers. What's going to go next? Oh no. Oh no. No! Swap their heights? Oh my god. All right, there we go. Ronaldo's now five foot seven. And Messi's six foot two. Those growth hormones hit way too hard. Okay, uh, we're, um, they're also not goalkeepers anymore uh, because, well, like, done that. I don't want to leave them as goalkeepers for their whole career. Ramsdale's back in nets. Now they're definitely going to win the title. Let's see if it makes a difference because they're around the same in quality at the moment. Maybe Ronaldo could struggle being smaller. Or, I don't know. Messi maybe flourishes when he actually eats his greens. Let's see how they get on. How many goals would Messi score if he was tall? 24. 
34 in a season. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Lionel Messi absolutely cooking up front for Spurs. How are they doing in the Premier League? I think they're doing terribly. Yeah, seven the league. But to be fair, Arsenal are sixth. They can fight for that Conference League place. Come on. They don't have Arsenal left to play. But let's go and check out how Ronaldo's doing. So Messi is absolutely soaring at six foot two. But how is Ronaldo doing down there at the dizzying heights? Five foot seven. Pretty small. Uh, let's see how he gets on. He's up to an 89 overall. 86 pace, 86 shooting. It's a nice card. But is he actually scoring goals and like stuff? 24 goals. They're just literally replicating each other. This is ridiculous. He's five foot seven and he's bagging them in. Let's not wait around. Let's spin this wheel again. Make them a defensive partnership for a season. This is going to be a fun one. First transfer of the video, really. It's Ronaldo and Messi as a centre-back pairing for Barcelona. Uh, let's simulate the year and see how they get on. Here we go. Messi and Ronaldo, both centre-backs, and they both played the full season. A combined eight goals and a combined five assists. For some reason, Messi has one more clean sheet than Ronaldo. Don't really know why that is, uh, because they both played every single game this entire league season. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Maybe it was subbed off or something. Anyway, they're currently second in the league, and they have the joint second best defense in the entire league. That's pretty good. I uh, granted they are 90 rated, both of them, but I mean, neither of them are center backs, and Ronaldo's five foot seven. So, you know, it's not exactly an ideal situation. Let's finish this out, though, and let's see if they can actually win La Liga as a center back duo. 4 1, only conceding one goal against Levante, a clean sheet against Atleti, 1 0 draw against Bilbao. They get a clean sheet against Villarreal to win themselves the La Liga title. That's actually a very good Barcelona team. Can they go the whole way? 2 1 win. That will do it. Rafinha with a brace. Barcelona are La Liga champions. Okay, here we go. We've already swapped their heights. We've already made them center backs and goalkeepers. What's going to happen now? What is this? Put them on 10 million a week. Oh, I don't even know if I can do that. Right, sure. We'll give it a go. Okay, here we go. How, how am I going to do this? I've given myself 1.4 billion. I hope that's enough. I don't know if it will be. I cannot do them. Actually, I can do the maths. He wants a release clause. We're denying him the release clause. Okay. Oh, we can totally do this. Okay. Let's put him on 150 million a week. He didn't take it. He had the nerve to turn down 150 million a week and ask for more money. Are you joking me? Okay. And now let's negotiate Messi's. We'll get him on 150 million a week as well. There we go. Ah, uh, we can do more. Let's get him on 350 mil. There we go. 350 million a week for Messi. <laughs> they make, oh my dear God. They make so much money. Oh, I've been fired from Barcelona. No. The value of Ronaldo's recent deal far exceeds the value of any other player's existing contract. So they've sacked me. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter though. That's so stupid. Okay, man, whatever. Let's simulate a season and see if it makes a difference for them. We should also make them strikers again. Well, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll make Messi a right winger. We'll make Ronaldo a left winger and they can play Vlavic through the middle. Let's see how they get on. Okay, while this is simulating after next year, let's do some maths. The Cristiano Ronaldo is making 150 million a year. Multiply that by 52, the amount of weeks in a year, and we get... I don't even know what that number is. Hold on. Apparently, that's 7.8 billion. What have I done? Okay, uh, uh, that's Ronaldo's contract, but Messi's is a bit more than that. He's on 350 million a week. Multiply that by 52, and oh my dear God, what even is that? Look at that. 1.82 E10. There's a letter in there. That makes no sense. What? 350 million. That's going to be 3.5 billion. 18.2 billion. Yeah, it's 18.2 billion in a year, which is like still less than Elon, but like that's a lot of money. 18.2 billion just to play football. That makes me feel a bit sick. So Ronaldo's getting like 7 billion. Messi's getting like 18 billion, and I'm getting nothing unless you subscribe. Play subscribe. I need to beat Goodwin to 100k subs. If I don't, I'm going to jump off the roof outside the window right there. Okay, we are back with Barcelona. Top scorer was Ronaldo, 27 and 22. Messi with 20 and 8. But Ronaldo definitely dominating off that left wing. They got one trophy last year. Put a trophy counter back on screen. They're second in the league again. Let's see if they can win it. Lost the Supercopa. Won the Copa de España. Add that to the tally. Not much else. So for some reason, are they still on these mega contracts? No, they're not. Their wages back down to normal. Okay, that's okay though. They got their bagger. They may have had to renegotiate their contract in order to prevent the club from going into liquidation. They still got paid, okay? Uh, but Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, once they get mega, mega contracts like that, I guess Ronaldo does a bit better. I, I don't know. I could see Ronaldo being a bit more money hungry, power hungry, success hungry. I, I, I get that. Onto the final day of the season, they're second and they're not going to win the title. Let's spin the wheel. How crazy can we get? Oh my God. Okay, this took like 20 minutes, but here we are. Ronaldo on the left, Messi on the right, and a full team of one overalls. Everyone's one overall in stats. Some of them are two, some of them are three, four, right? I did my best. Okay, as you can see, all their stats are one overall. You gotta believe me. Let's simulate a year with an absolutely 
really terrible team and uh, see how we do. This is going to be a real struggle. And if you're wondering, yes, Ronaldo and Messi's career will divert away from each other at some point. They won't be playing for the same club the entire time. Actually, at a random point in the video, the wheel will end and it's literally whoever wins the Champions League first from that position will win the video. So they will split off eventually. It's a matter of when. But for the moment, they're together as teammates trying to somehow hold this team together. Where do you think they'll finish in the Premier League with a one overall team? Oh God, it's May. Oh God, this team is terrible. Okay, so Ronaldo and Messi with the most goals. No shockers there. Messi gets one more goal. Ronaldo gets two more assists. Roughly tit for tat. How are they doing in the Premier League? They're not bottom. They're not 19th with a game in hand. They're not staying up, but they're doing actually okay. They've conceded 87 goals, which I still think is less than Sheffield United this season in real life in the Premier League, but they've scored 54, which is actually more than Newcastle United in seventh place. So they're scoring pretty good. They're just conceding like mad. All right, let's see if they can somehow stay up. Here we go. Brighton away is a loss, but they score twice. Two all against Palace. They lose to Villa. Last day of the season against Bournemouth. There's no even real point in simulating it out. Down in last place, 98 goals conceded, less than 100 to be fair. Sheffield United in real life on track for worse, which is absolutely mortifying. But we get to spin the wheel again, so I don't really care. Where are we going to go? This has been an absolutely unpredictable and crazy simulation, and it's going to get even madder. We're sending them to League Two as teammates. Remove it from the wheel. Okay, they're still together. Let's send them off to the worst league in English football. So when I put Messi and Ronaldo into League Two for a season, they're top of the league, 81 goals goals for way more than anyone else not even a pretty good defensive record but they're seven points clear with a game in hand only four games to go for them they get a 2-0 result over Carlisle they draw 2-0 with Crew Alexandra Derby Howard Derby in League 2 they beat them anyway and then Walsall on the final day is a 3-1 win Forest Green Week League 2 with 104 points and down the bottom of the table is Crowley Town not Derby that's good to see but where is Ronaldo and Messi in terms of goal scoring top scorer for the team was Lionel Messi 38 goals uh, Teddy Jenks had one less goal than Christian Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo had 15 assists, so I think we will let him off. Messi with 50 contributions in 55 games. Ronaldo with 38 and 55. Top score for the league season, no surprises here. It was, in fact, Lionel Messi. 30 goals for him. Cristiano Ronaldo, fifth with 18. So, we still have a couple seasons to go in the bank, definitely. I mean, they're still relatively young, right? How old are they? Yeah, 25, 24. Still plenty of time to go. Let's spin this wheel again. What a season in League 2 for Ronaldo and Messi, and what a crazy career it's been for them. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're going to be separated. A $1 release clause for both of them. Remove it from the wheel. That's absolutely brilliant. Let's give them their tiny release clauses. Let's see where they end up. And there we go. If you look on the right hand side, Lionel Messi, one euro release clause. Cristiano Ronaldo, one euro release clause. Let's see what clubs swoop in to pick them up. Every club in world football put in for these players. And this is where they have ended up. Cristiano Ronaldo is a Juventus player. He came here in real life and he's doing it in this simulation as well. They bought it the release clause. He obviously likes the club, respects the club and is now a player for the club. And Lionel Messi is not here. They have parted ways, finally Ronaldo and Messi, uh, but where is Lionel Messi? He's with Bayern Munich. He's gone to the German League. Bit of a weird move for him. I suppose I wouldn't have really put him in for this kind of move, but now nah, he's done it. He's gone to join forces with Musiala. There is no way anyone is stopping them now. Let's see how they do for a season. Ronaldo and Messi get a season of calm after the chaos that has been their career so far. We're here at Juventus with Ronaldo. 97 rated, 30 goals. Ronaldo's doing pretty well at Juventus. A couple of games to go. He is in a cup final, the Coppa Italia final. Oh, they won 3-2. There we go. Ronaldo does get himself a trophy at Juventus. Let's see if Lionel Messi can win the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich. I certainly hope so. And there's Messi, 94 overall. Actually, Ronaldo's kind of pulled away in overall. Bit of a weird one. They're second in the Bundesliga. Wow. They didn't even win the title. Bayern Munich are going trophyless for a season. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, nothing more we can do. Let's spin the wheel and see what they end up with. What the hell is this? Give them pink something. Give them pink hair. And every playstyle plus oh my god oh. well now Messi has every single playstyle plus including all of the goalkeeper ones okay despite my repeated efforts I'm unable to give him pink hair but I can give him pink gloves and pink boots I hope that's uh, I hope that's enough for you guys I mean the pink hair wouldn't have really made a difference anyway and there you have it Ronaldo now has every single playstyle plus I wonder if this will impact his performance at all oh my god Ronaldo's tiny oh, I forgot I made him tiny. Hold on one second. I forgot I made him five foot seven, but here he is with the pink gloves. Either way, do you think the playstyle pluses will actually make a difference for them? I 
wonder if they will. I wonder. Let's simulate a year and find out. Well, Messi's now like the best player of all time. 98 overall, 32 goals this year for Bayern Munich. Maybe those playstyle pluses did help. That is more goals than last season, but they are fifth in the league, so they're doing terribly. They're in the Champions League semi-final. It's Manchester United to play, and they're actually winning. Let's finish this out. Can they win? They do. They're in the Champions League final against Roma. It's an Italian team, but it's not Ronaldo's team. Here we go. Can Messi win himself the Champions League? No! On penalties. He missed as well. He missed his penalty. I mean, ultimately, it didn't matter because Havertz and Smith Rowe missed as well. But still, absolutely gutting for Messi. Didn't even score in the game. What a shame. Ronaldo's 98 overall as well. 24 goals, but Brobby with 35. The man's cooking. Ronaldo also had 14 assists. Maybe he's taking up more of a facilitating playmaker role for Juventus. Or I could be completely making that up. They're top of the Serie A. 82 points, four clear of Inter. Although they lost in the Super Cup and the Coppa Italia final to Inter Milan. But let's spin the wheel for maybe the last time. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but on this wheel, there is this little tile here that says next to win the Champions League wins the simulation. Whenever we hit that tile, the wheel stops spinning and it's literally a straight shootout. Next Champions League winner wins the video. We're not going to get it on this spin though. What's it going to be? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Play for their rival clubs. Perfect. Let's do it. Lionel Messi now plays for Real Madrid. Of course, famous for playing for Barcelona for many, many years. Now he's a Real Madrid player and I'm just going to go quickly to the transfer market to show you all. Cristiano Ronaldo, Barcelona player. He's signed to a four-year deal. Will he be there for four years or will the wheel throw us up something crazy like sending him to the Irish third division to go and play with the farmers in wellies in the fields? Who knows? It's on the wheel. It's not on the wheel. I'm joking. But let's see what happens in these next couple of years and let's see how quickly that Champions League thing comes up so that we can have a straight shootout for the biggest title in European football. Ronaldo with Barcelona, 24 goals and 12 assists. Cool, I guess. It's the pink gloves. It's actually magic. They're second in the league. Real Madrid are top. Eight points ahead of Barcelona. And they just played in El Clasico. And Barcelona actually won it 2 once. And this is Real Madrid. Top scorer, Messi. 29 and 15. That's insane. There's also this Damian Villic guy who looks like Lewandowski's regen. I'm not sure, though. They finished top of the league, so uh, Messi gets a trophy for that, I guess. And they won the Super Cup as well. So, yeah, Messi gets a trophy for that as well. And then no other trophies for Real Madrid. Pretty good season, though, all things told. But when you put them on rival clubs, uh, Ronaldo did win the Clasico that we saw. But I, I think Messi won the war, let's be honest. Okay, spin the wheel. Here we go. What are we going to end up with? Oh, no. Oh, no. Make them women. Uh-oh. Here he is. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, what? What have I done? What have I done? No. No, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Why have I done? Oh, no. Okay, I, I didn't even want to know what Ronaldo is going to look like. Oh, no. Oh, what? No. No. Oh, this is so... This is actually, like, the worst thing I've ever done on this channel. I'm so sorry you had to see this. Screw making them women for a game, though. I'm going to make them women for a season and see if that that makes a difference. If they now get zero goals and zero assists, the gender debate is over. And if they get 25 million goals, then we all better start watching the WSL. Cristiano Ronaldo, but he's a woman. Let's see how he does. Cristina Ronaldo, 13 and 6, the fall off. No, what happened? Well, we know what happened, but like, come on, man. Oh, okay. So what? EA sexist? Sick. Barcelona eighth. Oh, that's so tough. Real Madrid third as well. Real Madrid do get a trophy though, super cover. So add that to Messi's tally. Nothing in Europe for either club. Yes, that is. We do need to go and check on Messi, though. Let's see, because EA was sectors with Ronaldo. Are they just as horrible pigs with Messi? Let's find out. All right, let's see how Messi's doing. Female Messi. 31. Oh, damn. Okay, so maybe EA aren't sexist. Maybe Ronaldo's just bad at football. Anyway, sorry, EA. The only time I'll ever apologize to EA. Uh, Real Madrid finished third in the table. We already know that. We, we kind of know what happened. There's still some games left, though. They can still push for the title. Let's just sim this out. Why don't we? Osasuna is a win. They lose to Valencia. They beat Las Palmas, and then they beat Real Sociedad. They finished the league third. There you go. Champions League for next season, I suppose. And Barcelona finished 10th. Ugh. Granted, 26 points off the relegation zone. So they're always safe, but still. Oh my god, female Messi looks crazy. Anyway, let's spin this wheel. Here we go. Wheel spin. What's this gonna be? What the hell is this? Make them both Indian. Oh my god. All right, remove it from the wheel. Let's make them both Indian. There we go. Now Lionel Messi is an Indian national player. Cristiano Ronaldo, the Indian superstar. 
Darren that he is. They're going to be a strike pairing for the Indian national team. Uh, but I mean, I, I mean, come on. I, I don't think India are going to win the World Cup. I mean, maybe they will, but I, I doubt it. Barcelona finishing sixth. Ronaldo, the Indian international woman, is uh, what 18 goals. Ugh, that's so bad. What's he doing? Honestly, it's terrible. Although Real Madrid are in the Champions League, Celta Vigo to play against. And here's Lionel Messi, the 98 overall Indian woman, 28 goals. Pretty good season for him. He's also got pink gloves in every playstyle plus in the game. He's also spent some of his career in League 2 in England. It's the most crazy thing that we've ever done. Fourth so far in the La Liga. However, Champions League semi-final beckons and they did win. They're into the Champions League final and it's Arsenal to play against. Okay. Now, of course, the Champions League doesn't matter until we actually land on the part of the wheel where it says you have to win the Champions League. So it is just another trophy to the collection. Another string to Messi's bow, if you will. Neither Barcelona nor Real Madrid actually won any trophies so far anyway. But Real Madrid looking to win that Champions League title. Let's see if they can do it. Here we go. Champions League to play. Are they going to win? It's a 4-2 win for Real Madrid. Messi wins the Champions League. It's perfect. Really good for him. What would be absolutely heartbreaking is if we land on the next two in the UCL wins the video thing now. No, surely not. Oh, no, no. Next to win the UCL wins the video. No more wheel spins. Oh, boy, is get. Why have I put in all that extra text? Okay, now here we go. The wheel is dead. Remove it and kill the wheel. We're never going back. That's it. Messi versus Ronaldo for the Champions League glory. Next to win the Champions League wins. Messi's just off the back of a Champions League winning season. So who knows? Maybe he can go back to back. He's going to need to to win the video. Let's get simulating and let's see where we're at next, mate. That it's heartbreaking for the Indian woman. Uh, yeah. Can't really believe what I'm seeing right now. Barcelona in the Europa League. It's a bit bleak, isn't it? And Real Madrid are there as well. Brilliant. Although, to be fair, if we get an El Clasico Europa League final, I might have to count that because that would be literally perfect. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It's an El Clasico Europa League final. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is like the perfect end to this video. It's Ronaldo versus Messi on the biggest stage of all. We've got to change the challenge. Put a line through it. This is going to be the one. City of Manchester State. Stadium. Let's watch this game unfold. Oh yeah, I forgot Ronaldo's a woman and so is Messi. It's Pedri. Good tackle and here come Real Madrid. Can Messi prove himself as the greatest Indian woman ever? Into Messi. Here he comes. Messi, or she comes. I mean, whoops, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it's, they scored. No, I'm going to get cancelled, but Jude Bellingham scores anyway. Real Madrid taken early. Oh my god, they added the Bellingham celebration. I had no idea. He's ahead, proving himself despite the circumstances to get himself one step ahead of Ronaldo. It was brilliant play down that wing to get the ball into Bellingham. Jude Bellingham into Budesca. Matteo lets it run into Bellingham. Can Messi prove himself as the GOAT despite the circumstances? What's he done there? That's such a bad miss. Oh my God. Playing it long to Ronaldo, who's obviously not going to win the header. He's so small. Bellingham to Kirkes. Chance for Real Madrid. What a finish from Kirkes in off the post. Messi might just be the GOAT because of that goal. Here comes Ronaldo though. Chance to make it 2-1. Ah, he panics at the situation. Can they make it three? It's Messi to Koku, and it's 3-0. Absolutely scintillating. <laughs> when the craziness happened, Messi comes out on top. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video. Now you should watch this video. Pretty good. This one, right up here. Good. It's really good. Check it out.